Well, Susie, after a bit of a layoff, you've come back and you've made history. How does it feel? Oh, amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Um, actually, it's, yeah, I mean, when was the last time I fought? It was 2018, I believe, so it was quite some time. And um, she came out firing and, and um, it took me a couple of rounds to sort of get my time and back. But after that, it was all over and um, I just... <laughs> You know, it's well, many many people before the flight, you know, thought, oh, well, it's, it's going to be, you know, a, a somewhat of an easier night for you, perhaps at the office. But she really came in to fight. She she took the fight right up to you, and she made you work for it. Yeah, look, I mean, um, you know, my trainer Steve Stenborg, you know, he said that he, she was going to come out, you know, um, flat chat the first from the first round because, you know, she she knows what I'm all about. She, you know, so the experience I have in that, and she wasn't going to, um, you know, take it easy the first round and. You know, so she came out firing with the, you know, the overhand rights and whatever have you. But, yeah, I came around and um, it was all over after that. So, look, I mean, it is hard to, you know, just come out there and, you know, you've got these younger girls coming up, you know, and, and also I've been out of the ring for quite some time. Yeah. So it wasn't going to be easy. Um, yeah, just on that, know. like coming after after such a long layoff, those first couple of rounds, how were, how were you feeling? Tell us about your mindset. You know, did you did it feel like I'm I'm back, or was it like this is just, I don't remember it being like my flow was a little bit harder to get. Um, yeah, apart from like I, I walked into the ring and it seemed a little bit small, <laughs> maybe because I haven't um, yeah been out of the ring for a while. But yeah, I think as I'm used to sort of you know um, you know fighting the you know real tough but the high level fighters and you know the first, from the first round we sort of suss each other out and yeah. take our time and stuff like that and a bit more wary. But um, yeah, because I was out the ring, it was like well you know because I knew she was going to come out firing, I wasn't going to let her just you know you know start winning the first rounds and, and be all over me so I had to had to try and yep. um you know push through like that pace. so yeah, yeah yeah but um you know obviously the the pace was a little bit you know it's like damn she's really <laughs> going fast at these first rounds so I've got to catch up and and yeah and then once a third from the third round on to, onwards I just felt just really good well from no from my perspective and I'm sure the perspective of everyone at the show it was a hell of a fight it was thoroughly entertaining it showcased some real quality women's boxing which you, you've got to be proud of and uh, I suppose what now what's next if you've, you've created history gonna go on and make more what what's what's the next thing I know I just keep creating history every time <laughs> huh? I'm thinking about one more maybe um, so look I, I came here and I wanted to put on a good show you know we we're a main event you know female promoter yep. everything's cool like it was good for women's boxing and I wanted to get out there and, and put on a good show so I mean if it if it got stopped the first first round of the second round it would be like oh yeah no. if people wanted to see you know they paid for what they got I guess yep, you know yep, good definitely. good rounds and um, now it's just going back, have a rest, speak to my trainer Steve Stenborg, my manager Barry Michael, and you know maybe look at the IBF Super Flyweight title. So we'll see what happens. Well, on behalf of myself and I'm sure everyone watching and everyone that was at the event, congratulations! Great to see you back, and we wish you all the best for the future. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks, Eve.